Hello people. So in our lifetime uh, we can have some uh, weird sounding and horribly sounding diseases that actually uh, are uh, self-limiting limiting, uh, conditions but uh, their names often are associated with something that is more severe than it actually is. So in our body we have these uh, apophyses. So an apophysis. So an apophysis is a normal devel developmental part of a bone, an outgrowth of a bone that actually has a set, uh, its own ossification center. So this part here would actually be this outgrowth. It would have an ossification center here that is separate from the rest of the bone. And there is a growth plate between these two structures. And this is actually an epiphysis. These epiphysis uh, form when when the development is complete uh, this part of the bone of the calcaneus will actually be an important insertion point for tendons in this case it is an important insertion point for the achilles uh, tendon if uh, a lot of stress is put on uh, this epiphysis in the years of its uh, development then the, the uh, inflammation can arise so a lot of activity we can have uh, inflammation develop here and then we have something that is called apophysitis apophysitis so basically this apophysis gets inflamed. This inflammation isn't something uh, horrible, isn't something uh, <laughs> that will uh, leave a mark, but it, uh, when it happens it uh, limits uh, the uh, physical activity because of pain. So in this case when this epiphysis that is actually the, later the insertion point of the Achilles tendon gets inflamed this, uh, this happens in active children and the main feature is pain in the heel. So these children will have heel pain and if you look from the outside there will be no changes uh, on the skin and palpatory that you will uh, not feel any bumps but when you palpate uh, in this region of the heel there uh, there will be pain and also on activity the children will feel pain and uh, the uh, the children that get this are 8 to 15 years uh, old this condition, when it happens, it's a mostly, if we do an x-ray, the x-ray will be uh, normal. So a normal x-ray and the, the diagnosis is primary, uh, uh, primarily a clinical diagnosis. So the pain in the heel in uh, a children that is 8 to 15 years old with no uh, really... Um, uh, present x-ray uh, signs of a fracture or uh, other conditions in this apophysis uh, area is actually this disease is then called uh, Severs disease and uh, it's called Severs disease because James uh, Sever uh, actually described it first in 1912 so this is Severs disease and uh, it, when you tell someone you have Severs disease, it's, it sounds more horrible than it is because if this uh, patient, this child, um, 
uh, takes a rest. So uh, if he takes rest and uh, ice uh, in this region for two or more weeks, Uh, this condition will uh, subside in all of the cases. So it is a self-limiting uh, condition. What is the difference uh, now between Severs and another condition that is called oscott schlatters disease? So in oscott schlatter disease, it is the same thing as Severs disease, but in, the, in, an, uh, in an, another part of the leg. So this time, that we have the involvement of the tibial tuberosity. So the tibial tuberosity has also a separate ossification point than the rest of the bone. And there is a growth plate between them. And it, later the tibial tuberosity is the insertion point of the patellar uh, tendon. And as in uh, Severs disease, also children that are very active and that do running and jumping in the years 10 to 15 years old, they can get pain uh, below the knee, the pain is described, but in the uh, anatomical position of the tibial uh, tuberosity. And the problem is that... Um, we have uh, also an inflammation of the apophysis uh, and this inflammation of the apophysis causes this pain. On uh, x-ray examinations, most of the time we don't have anything and the diagnosis is also, like Severs disease, primarily clinical. Uh, and like Severs disease, it is uh, treated with rest and ice and like uh, Severs disease, it is mostly a self-limiting uh, condition. And the inflammation of the apophysis in this part of the bone, the uh, tibial tuberosity, and this kind of pain, mostly in children in these years, or when they do a lot of running and jumping, is called also by the authors uh, oscott schlatters disease. So this is oscott schlatter disease and of course it sounds uh, wor worse, wor worse than it is. It is actually also a self-limiting condition. It is uh, maybe a little bit severe than uh, Severs disease. If the children do not rest uh, or if uh, the exercise they are doing is um, more uh, demanding of them, it is very uncommon, but it can happen that uh, we have actually an avulsion fracture of the tibial tuberosity. So the patellar tendon pulls off parts of the tibial tuberosity and makes an avulsion fracture. And this classification, there are three options, is called uh, Watson-Jones classification. There are three types. So in type 1 of this avulsion fracture, we have basically only a small, small, uh, only a small, small part, a fragment of the tuberosity is displaced uh, proximally. So this is mostly treated uh, conservative. Then uh, the severe uh, is actually the third, the third uh, type is when we have the displacement of the whole uh, tibial tuberosity and also an interfragmentary, uh, the involvement of the uh, 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 joint, the knee joint, so the, the fracture goes into the, uh, uh, it involves the tibial tuberosity, the growth plate, the proximal growth plate of the tibia and also the uh, articular uh, uh, surface of the uh, tibia. So this is mostly treated operatively, very uncommon. And the second one, uh, it can be treated uh, depending uh, on the decision conservatively or operatively. It involves uh, the t 
typical tuberosity displacing proximally, but also it involves the proximal growth plate of the uh, tibia. But this is, uh, as I said, a uh, uh, un, uh, very uncommon uh, development because when this pain starts, most of the uh, most of the children stop the activity and with rest and ice for two or more weeks, the condition subsides and these conditions, uh, severe disease and Oscar-Schlatter disease are actually the same thing only in different parts of the body and they are uh, have uh, weird sounding names uh, but they are actually um, uh, self-limiting conditions thank you